good morning, hooligans. Well, it's, yeah, it's still morning. So it's it's uh, 10.30. It's on Wednesday. And so I, uh, I'm i going to go ahead and probably upload this one right away. I've got a couple of videos that I still want to try and make, but the, the phone on the left here is, is still giving me issues. And I need to get it fixed, and I just don't have the money to do it right now. So... Um, if I can manage to pull this one, this one video out, then I'm going to try and do the other two that I, that I did, which is pretty much scenery. Um, the thing is, I'm on this dedicated run, and all I'm going to be doing, basically, is I'm going to be going to uh, Dallas to LA and back to Dallas, and that's it. And it's every week, it's the same, it's going to pay uh, full, around six grand a week. Now out of that, I gotta take, you know, my payment for the truck, and I gotta take my, you know, all my insurance, all that stuff, and I figure I'll probably gross, gross, I'm like 6000 a week, okay? Net, before taxes, it's probably gonna be around two grand a week to 2200 a week, okay? And so I'm, I'm cheap, I don't, I live cheaply, basically, and have for a long time, because I, I grew up poor. So when you grow up poor, you learn to live in the cheapest way possible. So, um, and and I'll get more into that out here in a minute. But I, I wanted to like address like I don't know. I'm gonna have to change things up as far as the channel is concerned because I know that there are guys out there that are watching and there are guys out there looking for information and there are guys out there looking for videos on a regular basis. And I think I'm gonna have time. To put some videos up, but it's going to be the same scenery over and over and over again for a while. And as long as I'm on this dedicated, as long as I can do this dedicated run, I'm going to do the dedicated run because it's going to, it's de definitely going to like, in, like, I need to bank some money, you know? I need to make sure there's enough money in the bank to take care of the truck if something happens. And that's kind of, that's why I'm going to stay on this run. So the other thing is it's winter time. Uh, we're talking right here today's the last day of October uh, we're talking about you know last day of October we're going into November it's gonna be it's already snowing and I seen you know it already has snowed in Colorado as you saw in my last video um, and it's definitely getting worse up in the Wyoming area and all I've got to do is run the I-10 corridor as long as I'm on this so for the winter I'm probably gonna be on this and we're talking probably uh, we're at least till March, March or April is, I'm just going to have to buckle down and do it and just get it done. So, um, but the great thing is it's going to bank, you know, some serious cash and, uh, you know, I'll be able to, to afford to do some things I've wanted to do for a long time. So, uh, today we are, and I'll, what I'll do is I'll do this like talk, like maybe once a week and I'll do it in different sections, you know? So today is Wednesday and I'll do it like I'm in the Texas Hill Country where, west of a little town called Henley. We're actually west of Dripping Springs, Texas, and which is a, a cute little town. I think you guys would love it if you came through it. Uh, we're going to go through Fredericksburg. We're going to go through Johnson City. Um, we're going to go through Johnson City first here in a few minutes. Then we're going to go through Fredericksburg. But we're in the hill country. It's a gorgeous part of the state of Texas here. My favorite place of all. And um, so I figured I'd, I'd have that as the background while I talked about a few things. So um, anyway, so we're, let's, let's go, it's my first week, basically, so it's Wednesday, it's been about a week and a half since I signed the contract, I probably did one of the stupidest things I've ever done, we'll, wait, we'll have to see, and, uh, so far, I wanted to let you guys know, I've bought two tires and had an alignment done on this truck, so, when you buy a used truck, as with any used equipment, any used anything, which is pretty much all I buy is used crap, um, you're gonna have to take care of a few things probably almost right off the bat. Now, um, that can be true and it can't be true. I, when I bought my 96 Caprice, it was actually uh, a good enough car that I drove it all the way to Oklahoma, or not Oklahoma, I drove it all the way to Colorado. And uh, I've got a picture of it and I'll put it up here. And um, this is a picture of it in Colorado on the, uh, there's a, a place in the uh, Rocky Mountain National Park and it's called Old Sawmill Road, I think. And I took the car on Old Sawmill Road. And, and this was right near, like, a place where there was a, a beautiful creek. And I think I'll have the, 
I think I'll have the, I'll put the creek picture up. There you go. And so, um, it's, it was a really nice trip. I did that with somebody and it was a great trip. And then, um, I'll put the other picture of, of it up. That's a picture of it on the Regency Bridge over the Colorado River. There are two Colorado Rivers in the United States, one in Texas and one in uh, in the West uh, part of America. And the, the one in the West is the more famous Colorado River, but there's a Colorado River in Texas. And this picture is of it over the Colorado River in Texas on the Regency Bridge. It's near Goldthwaite, uh, Texas. So if you guys get a chance to go out and check that out, go ahead. So... Uh, the, the whole point of doing that is really because I like my car and share pictures of it, but also because, you know, that that car was um, a car that I bought and went to uh, Colorado in, like, three weeks later. And I took it to the top of Pikes Peak. It's been to the top of Pikes Peak twice. Very rarely do you end up buying used equipment that doesn't need work. So, uh, to get back to the truck. So, I've, I've done two tires in alignment. And two tires in the alignment so far have cost me around $930. Right, like just rounded off $930. And that's in the first week of truck ownership. So, um, like, you've got to, you've really got to, like, you know, make sure that you've got the money set aside to do things like that. And I didn't really go into this in a really intelligent way, because I didn't have any money set aside when I signed the contract. But, it was a good deal, and I know the truck, and I know that there's nothing wrong with it right now that's really serious that has to be addressed. And so um, I went ahead and signed the contract because I had a little confidence. And the other thing is the guy that owns the company that I'm driving for, a real nice guy, uh, he's giving me a little bit of, of a support system. So he knows I don't have any money in the bank, and so if something goes wrong, he's going to take care of like it until I have the money to pay it, so, you know, put it back myself. So... Uh, but I, honestly, I think I'll, I'll be able to get it. I think I'll be able to get through the next month, and after that, I'll have some money in the bank, some serious money in the bank. Uh, so I'll, I should be okay. Anyway, um, really, that's kind of that's kind of what's been going on. No real other anything than that. Just you know, on this dedicated run back and forth, and and uh, you know, I want to make sure that. You know, you guys are still getting some information because, you know, that was part of the reason that I started doing this was because, you know, I, I've got a nephew and he's really into trucks, he's really into trains, he's really into cars, you know, and, and he's going to be like, he's going to want to do this one day, I'm pretty sure. And when he gets to that point, I want him to have the benefit of the information that I that I have. But I want him to have that information firsthand, you know, to be able to go back and look at these things, you know, and that's why I'm making these videos. And then, you know, I want them to, I want him and my other nephew to see where we're going and, and or see where I'm going and the dog, because the dog's right there, but to see where I'm going and, and what it's like. And, you know, I know they miss me and I miss them too. And it's just, this is, you know, when you're an adult, you have to work. And sometimes when you want, really want the things you want, you have to work really hard and you've got to miss being around your family. So, um, so that's, that's the other thing. And then my mother's always like, what are you doing? Where are you? This is a good way for her to be like, oh, okay, I see where you're going to. And uh, to get some information. She and I talk all the time anyway, but, you know, this is a good way for her to see where I'm at instead of me just go, I'm in the Texas Hill Country. You know, she's not going to see that tree. You know, if I just go, I'm in the Texas Hill Country, and she's not going to see the tree that I just passed, you know. And so, and that's kind of the thing. And then the other reason is because there is information, and I, I've, you know, I've been through the school of hard knocks, I've, I've had a truck burn down, there's a picture of it, <laughs> you know, I had a wheel come off, I don't have a picture of that, um, you know, I've, I've driven all kinds of different trucks, and, and in, in that five years, and that's the one thing that, I'm not saying that I know everything, I, of course I don't know everything, nobody knows everything. But I've, I've been through kind of the school of hard knocks as far as, like, what I've done. And, and I've kind of built up knowledge, I think, over the past five years that, that kind of encompasses a, a, a broad area. And it's only been five years. And there's going to be guys out there like, you don't know anything. Like, you're right. I don't, probably. But at least I'm giving, you know, at least I'm sharing the information that I do have. 
you know, instead of just letting it sit in my head and keeping it to myself, so, and that's really the reason I'm doing these videos. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, we're in Johnson City now. We're coming into Johnson City now, and we're going to make a left here, and we're going to head that direction. And if I think of some more things that I want to talk about, I do have, like, a list of things I want to talk about with you guys. Uh, cars, and I, I want to talk about square body Chevrolets at some point, so if you're into square body Chevrolets, stick around, I'm going to talk about that. Um, you know, but I'm going to talk about a lot of different things and, and try to keep you guys updated on what's going on. Anyway, that's it. I think I've rambled on for long enough. And I'm going to go. Okay. We're going to make a left up here on the old Austin Highway. And we're going to go to... Well, we're going to go that way. Which is west. So, anyway. Y'all keep the shiny side up. See you down there.